we are like minded i knew she she would understand how i want to explore this story uh, so for me it started with that and then uh, you know sid was somebody who done fantastic work as mc sher in gully boy i had met ananya uh, success for a film is uh, its longevity uh, and and how many people uh, you know watch it love it and and uh, that sometimes is the best reflection of that is not a number uh, it's and we have a great uh, you know references to a movie like dil chahta hai you know Shakun sir, hi Ananya, hi Thayer. Welcome to OTT Play. Hi, hi yeah, Shakun sir. Nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, so Shakun sir, I would like to actually congratulate you because uh, on February tenth, you are actually completing a decade as a director, also with Ek Me or Ek Tu releasing. Wow. Yeah. And around the same time, Gehraya is also releasing. So, uh, uh, what would you say? Have you come the long way, or is it just like new beginning for you? As you said, as in it's the climax of Ek Me or Ek Tu. It's not the end. It's the beginning. <laughs> you know i was just saying first of all i don't know if it's my face and has this film aged me i don't know why people are saying so one uh, i feel uh, i feel very old two yes i mean you are you're right i think um, you know my first film released around 10th of feb um, and um, it it it, does, it feels like it was just very very recently honestly um no i'm just three films old i am mm-hmm. you know so, so still figuring out things still figuring out what i want to make next what kind of things i want to try uh, as i said i think it's too early in my career yes not in terms of time i've been around but maybe it's too early in my career in terms of my filmography to look back i have other things that i want to try and hopefully when i'm 50 i can look back and there'll be more than five films uh, and you know that that's that yeah but your each film had like five year gap in between almost but see i've become a sir aren't you <laughs> aren't you excited about that in this conference <laughs> i just wanted that title who cares about the film <laughs> so uh, shakun my question to you was what draws you to this complexities of relationships because you have explored unrequited love this functional family and now also uh, talking over the subject of infidelity well it's just my curiosity and i guess uh, uh, i am i don't understand there's some mystery that you want to follow and figure out uh, it's not something i'm doing uh, you know to 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 kind of do it uh, consciously to make different films no it's it's what excites me it's what draws me in in terms of the kind of movies or books that i've read it's always been uh, you know complex relationships also a more zoomed out objective view of uh, uh, emotions because i feel it's it it gets easier to understand things when you watch it over time i think when you do something uh, very subjectively you can't really study it so maybe those things but um, you know um sorry for the boring answer that's really what it is <laughs> not at all <laughs> and ananya uh, from taking baby steps uh, till uh, gehraya you have come a long way but uh, like i would i would really want to know that what made you pick gehraya it wasn't really a choice for me because you know i really did <laughs> want to work with shakun uh, i wanted to uh, as soon as i heard the film i knew i wanted to be a part of it simply because um it was extremely relatable to me um i liked the uh, messiness the complexity uh, the honesty of the film and i felt as an actor it would challenge me to do something different to grow and you know honestly it's done that and more not just as an actor but i really feel i've grown as a person with just the experience of this film so yeah i'm really looking forward to what people think and oh uh, both dairy and ananya what was actually the most challenging aspect of shooting this film first of all you all shot during the uh, lockdown during the pandemic but what was uh, during the process what was the most challenging aspect apart from covid uh, i mean it was just a joy to be on the set and you know exploring exploring your craft learning uh, just being among, amongst and amidst uh, these people uh, genuine warm and extremely talented people so for me it was exciting rather than challenging i'd say because 
the challenge i overcame the challenge just in the prep zone where we got to know each other and uh, uh, i was well versed with uh, uh, how shakun is looking at the film the uh, my character and through the workshop so i was uh, comfortable and confident by the time we started shooting so i was just looking forward to the experience and i've i can just say in retrospect that I, i've had the most amazing time on the film Ananya, um, you know, as Daria said, it was it was a complete joy to be on this set. Uh, but I think because of the the characters in the film uh, and the ideas we were exploring, I think personally we all had to kind of uh, dive in much deeper. We had to kind of um, you know go to uncomfortable places in terms of the emotions we had to uh, portray on screen so i think i mean i'm not going to speak for everyone else but i think getting over certain inhibitions um, and uh, yeah that was sort of challenging for me and uh, shakun uh, the film is based against like backdrop of coastal region like you're shot in goa you're shot in alibag mumbai also near gate and all this so how important was that aspect like Uh, the location of uh, coastal parts of the the area yeah well that's uh, uh, honestly it came very organically to the film uh, the 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 characters lived in bombay and they had a house in alibag mm -hmm. so you know sea became a very integral part as we went back and forth between the two uh, primary locations of the film uh, and now it looks like one beautiful unit that's tied together because our title is gehraiya there is yeah. a sea in the in the film there are shots of the waves uh so i would say it all very organically fell into place and it gave this beautiful mood that uh you know that i can only be thankful for but but it it all came together on its own and uh talking about the uh casting process it's, it's sometimes it's it's a norm that uh, the more experienced actor is or is male uh, in most of the films but here the more experienced actor is deepika pal who is a female lead and uh, compared to the uh, three yeah. other lead actors so uh, what was the whole casting process of casting deepika sidhan ananya and dhairya making them all come together in this beautiful ensemble cast yeah yeah i think regardless of gender the process stays the same you want to find the most uh, you know uh, closest person to who who is like minded who understand who has a point of view on the story that you share uh, so for me dipika even before i finished the script you know i we been known each other i'd met her a bunch of times and i knew that we are like minded i knew she she would understand how i want to explore this story uh, so for me it started with that and then uh, you know sid was somebody who done fantastic work as mc sher in gali boy i had met ananya uh, you know one of my co-writers aisha had worked with ananya and she she kind of saw that she was very close to what we were writing and dhairya came through auditions uh, you know it it came together beautifully uh, uh, but but as i said it it's baby steps you try find one person who's right for the part then you go to the other and you hope that when they come together uh, there's some magic but you can't define that magic it just has to happen Yeah. And uh, do you think the OTT release of the film is uh, is an advantage? Oh yeah, I, I keep saying it. I'm ecstatic. Uh, even two years ago, if if I had said this, people would think like I'm I'm being foolish. But uh, I've I've enjoyed my most favorite films on a laptop screen. I've actually uh, you know the movies that wanted me to me to be a filmmaker are movies that I saw on DVDs. Uh, so. i have connected very deeply with films it, over a tv screen or laptop screen um and and for me once the movie was ready i saw no reason for it not to reach the audiences especially where we are with covid safety you know people uh, i i would love for it to uh, be be consumed at home uh, and and you know uh, so no for me for me this is a win win i think the audiences are already on these great streaming services and i think Uh, Amazon has such huge reach that uh, uh, it actually makes me feel uh, proud and excited that it's 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 going to reach so many people so soon. Yeah, and uh, does it ease the box office pressure, uh, pressure like for Ananya and Daria, and even for Shakun? Like, is it like kind of that pressure is just nullified altogether? I think uh, metric of success is going to change. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, uh, it's been a very primitive way uh, of saying. 
you know, uh, this is the number for the week. But as as people consume and watch movies in different ways, metric of success will have to be redefined. So we are still very early stage. So yeah, you may be like, um, oh, what about box office? Because you don't know how else can we define success for a film. But I think uh, I've always liked to step out outside of those boundaries. Uh, and, and, and I think the true success for a film is uh, its longevity uh, and, and how many people uh, you know, watch it, love it. And, and uh, that sometimes is the best reflection of that is not a number. Uh, it's, uh, and we have a great uh, you know, references to a movie like Dil Chata Hai, you know, that when it came out probably won the biggest box office uh, deliverers of, of that year. But look at the longevity and look at the love they still, rec still receive. Um, that's my take. Uh, and what do you think? No, yeah, I completely agree. Um, I think, uh, I don't think anything can ever replace the experience of cinema, but I don't think it needs to replace the experience of cinema because I feel like uh, they can coexist, you know, there'll be certain stories that are perfect for OTT, you know, uh, more intimate stories, um, uh, more brave stories in that sense where they don't need to think about, you know, putting a project together or casting, you know, only big stars in that sense. And then there'll always be um, films uh, that you, you should view on a big, uh, screen and cinema in that sense so um i mean i'm just starting out so for me that box office pressure even before i started out has kind of gone away so it feels good yeah gary you would like to add something no i think they've pretty much summed it up uh, yeah your work uh, you aspire you hope that your work reaches to the widest audience possible and uh, with the growth of the streaming platforms in the last two years and I mean before that but we've survived the last two years with content on streaming platform uh, it's a refreshing change it's a change that will that's here to stay and I'm excited because there'll be more stories that will be told that which means more possibilities and opportunities for me as a performer so I'm excited I'm excited uh, that our film is coming on Amazon, which is a which has a wide uh, reach, and you know, a lot of people are going to watch it at the same time and just continue watching it. And hopefully, it'll be one of those films which uh, you know um, survives the test of time, and you know, people come back to it, watch it again, and it has that. Uh, yeah, pretty much that, really. <laughs>